Hi, Pat Dude1979 here. I'm gonna do a quick review about my uh, newest knife I got. Bought this from a website in China. This is the uh, Enron MY803. The Enron MY803. I don't know if you can see the logo there. I bought this knife after I saw a couple of reviews on it and which looks good and mimics the shapes and uh, and form of the uh, ZT0561 so uh, which is a knife that I would love to hone love to get but a little bit too expensive for my taste great looking knife looks to be smooth looks to be really nice but this knife right here you know how much this cost uh, about twelve dollars $12, so really really inexpensive for what you're getting and what you're getting is a pretty good knife the uh, blade is uh, made of a uh, 9CR13 MOV I couldn't tell you about the heat read right now I didn't play enough to uh, to get a good feel but the, the edge seems to be holding nice uh, the edge is factory edge I didn't make any modification on it and uh, a couple of good points about the knife is, well, you get a nice piece of uh, good steel, rather good steel for a china blade. The knife comes adequately sharp out of the box. It won't pop hair so easily, but, you know, it's still sharp enough to cut paper, as so we're going to see it towards the end. It is a frame lock, stainless steel frame lock. The lock engages about at, I would say, 60% and uh, the lock does, when I first got it, the lock sticks a little it just, you know, sometimes it's stuck and you had to press really hard to uh, disengage it so uh, that wasn't something very uh, very nice but you know, for, for what you're paying, it's not so bad and after oiling it, playing with it a little bit, loosening up the pivot and it's fun, it's just a simple flathead screwdriver and you can lo loosen the pivot if you want to take it apart just some standard uh, X um, X keys or Torx uh, Torx bit. Yeah, I think it's pretty much uh, would be Torx bit for that. But this is when you do a knife. This is how you want to do it. You know, no pro proprietary screws for the pivot or stuff like that. That's a hassle, and you need a fifteen dollars uh, fifteen dollars screwdriver to get this off. So no, but for the money, this is a good knife. I got in a flat dark earth, like you can see but uh, it's a good knife and a uh, couple of things I've noticed on it is apart from the lock the blade is centered pretty much dead on which is nice the blade is adequately sharp from the factory it's pretty smooth as you guys can see uh, after you loosen it up you oil it it's pretty smooth one thing I've noticed is uh, inside there is one on one side there is a teflon washer which is common for uh, all the Chinese and I have a Teflon washer and the, uh, on the other side it's a um, it's a phosphorus bronze washer so I don't know why they couldn't put a phosphorus bronze washer on both sides but that would have been nice to have uh, it would make the knife so much smoother I don't care if you have to add five or ten cents to the price I know you you want to you know you want to make the cost of the knife below a certain standard eight, it's below twelve dollars even if it's twelve or five or twelve dollar ten cents I don't I don't care just the knife would be so much smoother and how much does one thing like that cost one cent two cents come on all you gotta do is put this in and it, this knife would be so much smoother so much more fun anyways a couple of other thing I've noticed is that the knives uh, everyone the knife there's some uh, really really sharp edges especially around here around the lock all those corners here I'm gonna use my Dremel and I'm gonna modify this all that little corner this is so sharp that you could probably cut yourself depending if you're doing a hard use of the knife and I'm gonna probably gonna do it all around here it's not so bad you know it's not that sharp on the inside not so bad either but you know just for the sake of making it just a little bit smoother I'm gonna pass a Dremel and just gonna make the uh, the entire edge, uh, the entire face of these uh, little edges that are sharp. I'm gonna make them smoother. But anyway, for twelve dollars, you know you can't go wrong with this. This is a great knife for the money, and uh, you know you're getting something that resembles. It's not exactly the same as a ZT, 
but it resembles the shape and since I like that shape you know I wanted to see first if I would like the uh, the shape of the ZTs and the uh, flipper and the guard that it creates and in the hand it feels really really good the only thing I would want to see is the uh, uh, type of uh, deep carry pocket clip right here you could always modify that and flip it around and just modify it but I think that the pocket clip acts as a um, as a stop for the uh, for the back lock but I'm not sure if it's even touching no it's not touching so it doesn't care too much so you could always modify the pocket clip to make it more deep carry if you want just loop that bend that and try to make it more deep carry the pocket clip itself is not so bad but you know they could be improved a little bit and there's no four-way positioning on that one so and that would be enough. that would have been fun too to see four positioning lanyard hole. You could pass some 550 cores in there, and you know overall the jimping here on top is you know almost just cosmetic. It it grabs a little, but not that much. And the, the jimping on the knife itself, well, that's just decoration. It doesn't do anything. Jimping on the knife. I wish it just could put maybe two more, two more little uh, little cuts here. Just to make it like that long, that would have been perfect. Just two or three more cuts and just put the jimping all the way up to here. And that would have been good. Because the jimping is not so bad on the blade itself, but we need just a little bit more jimping on that. And the colors too, the colors of the knife is pretty good. You know, I wanted to uh, take in flat dark, uh, flat dark earth, so uh, yeah, overall, really good knife. Now let's see about the um, the edge here. So you can do S cut no problem. You can cut it all the way around and on every part of the blade is sharp too, even the tip. So yep, really good knife for the money and it comes pretty sharp from uh, from the factory, so hope you guys enjoyed this little review and uh, look forward to my uh, to my others. So see you guys later.